It's now again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, your daily mindfulness training session. Today we're going to talk about something I find fascinating, how expanding your perspective through mindfulness can naturally lead to more gratitude in your life. This idea was actually inspired by Noah Rochetta from the Secular Buddhism podcast. It really got me thinking about how the broader our view of life becomes, the more opportunities we have to appreciate everything we experience. Gratitude is not just something we conjure up out of nowhere. It often arises naturally when we shift the way we see things. So let's dive into how expanding your perspective can open the door to gratitude, even during life's tough moments. When we're caught up in our day-to-day -day lives, it's easy to focus on what's immediately in front of us, our problems, our stress, the things that seem to be going wrong. This narrow perspective can make it hard to feel grateful. But what happens when we take a step back and widen our view. Through mindfulness, we learn to see the bigger picture. We become aware that life is more than just the difficult moment we're experiencing right now. We start to see how everything is interconnected, our joys, our challenges, the people we meet, and the situations we find ourselves in. When you expand your perspective, you start to realize that even difficult experiences are part of the broader tapestry of your life. And in that bigger picture, there's often something to be grateful for. Mindfulness plays a key role in helping us shift our perspective. By staying present and observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, we begin to see beyond the surface level of our experiences. For example, when you're facing a stressful situation, mindfulness allows you to step back and observe it from a distance. Instead of getting lost in the stress, you can see the situation for what it is, a passing moment in the grand scheme of things. This shift in perspective opens up space for gratitude. You may start to see that even within your challenges, there are opportunities for growth. You may recognize the support of others or appreciate the strength you're building by going through tough times. And the, the fact that you can now have more compassion for others when they're going through tough times. <clears throat> and the thing, about, the thing about that is um, tough times allow us to have that compassion. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've noticed that sometimes the most connected I ever feel with anybody is when one of us is going through a tough time and the other one is showing compassion. So while that <clears throat> those tough times are definitely tough, there's no, there's no getting around that. Suffering happens. But if you zoom out, and see the bigger picture if you allow others to show you compassion or you if you don't have anyone that's showing you compassion you show yourself self-compassion and then later when when you're out of that um, that mode uh, when you're out of that struggle you show others compassion who are struggling you may just find that this is the way that you become more connected to other people the wider your perspective becomes, the more gratitude can arise naturally because you're no longer fixated on the negatives. You see the bigger picture. And with that comes a sense of appreciation for all that life brings. And I'm going to just tell the, the story of the farmer. This is a um, Taoist parable, I believe. Um, I think I've told it before on this podcast, but it's my favorite story. And it, I, I think about it anytime I'm in a tough time. So this farmer, his horse runs away and his neighbors come to him and say, oh my God, your horse has run away. That is so terrible. And he says, maybe. And then a few days later, his horse comes back and it brings with it four wild horses. And the neighbors come by and say, oh my God, now you've got five horses instead of one. What great fortune. And he says, maybe. Well, his son, who's the one that takes care of the farm, is, is trying to break in one of the horses one day, and he falls off and breaks his leg. And the neighbors come by and say, oh my God, this is terrible. That's, your son is the one who takes care of the farm. I don't know what you're going to do. It's, you're in a terrible situation. And he says, maybe. And a few days later, the military comes by to conscript all of the young men and, and take them away to war. But 
they pass over his son because his leg is broken. And the neighbors say, oh my God, what great fortune. Your son didn't have to go off to war. And he says, maybe. So when we zoom out to see the bigger picture, um, even the, the difficult times uh, lead to, to life. <laughs> if you look back at your life and all the difficult situations that you've been through, you can be grateful that you, you have gotten through all of them. You're still alive. You still, um, you're still alive. <laughs> I don't know if you have shelter or food, um, but you, you've obviously had enough shelter and food to get you to this point. One of the most beautiful things about expanding your perspective is that it helps you appreciate life's complexity. We often want things to be simple. We, we, we want life to go smoothly and predictably, but the truth is life is complex, and that's part of what makes it so rich and meaningful. When you broaden your perspective, you begin to see that even the challenging moments have a role to play. They shape you, teach you, and push you to grow. Mindfulness allows you to sit with that complexity and see it as something to be grateful for. Instead of wishing away the hard times, you can start to appreciate them for the lessons they bring. This doesn't mean you have to enjoy every challenge, but it does mean you can find gratitude in the growth and change that come from facing them. So how do we put this into practice? How do we use mindfulness to expand our perspective and let gratitude arise more naturally? Here are a few tips. Number one, zoom out in difficult situations. The next time you find yourself stressed or overwhelmed, try zooming out. Take a few deep breaths and imagine yourself looking at the situation from a wider lens. Ask yourself, how does this fit into the bigger picture of my life? This simple shift can help you see the situation differently and open the door to gratitude. Number two, reflect on past challenges. Think about a time in your life when you faced a difficult challenge. How did that experience shape who you are today? What did you learn from it? Often when we look back at past difficulties, we can see how they contributed to our growth and that helps that can help us feel grateful for the experience. Number three, practice mindful gratitude. Set aside time each day to practice mindful gratitude. This could be as simple as taking a few minutes to reflect on something you appreciate in your life right now. As you do this, notice how expanding your perspective, seeing beyond the moment, helps you find more things to be grateful for. Number four, be present with others. When you're in a conversation with others, Practice mindful listening. By being fully present, you can gain new perspectives that broaden your understanding of the world, which in turn deepens your gratitude for the people and relationships in your life. You can listen to episode 69 for more about um, mindful listening. To sum it up, the wider your perspective, the more naturally gratitude arises. When, you're, when you practice mindfulness, you open yourself up to seeing the bigger picture of your life. You start to understand that even the challenges you face are part of that bigger picture and that there's always something to appreciate, even in difficult times. Thank you to Noah Rochetta from the Secular Buddhism Podcast for inspiring this idea. And if you're looking to deepen your mindfulness practice and expand your perspective even further, visit jeremywest.net where I offer mindfulness coaching services and guided meditations to support your journey, including a guided uh, gratitude meditation. Until next time, stay present, keep practicing, and remember, it's now again.